Quality Camp Community College offers a variety of classes. Students need to make a decision on how they want their scheduling to relate to their decisions. Quality Camp Community College says that one of your first considerations is what you want to take and when you want to take it. Quality Camp Community College offers classes at various times, locations, during the week and online. So, if you are trying to balance a career and a family, Potty Camp Community College offers many variations of scheduling that will help you. Do you want to be a full-time student or a part-time student? You must have at least 12 credit hours to be considered a full-time enrolled student. However, if you want to graduate in only four semesters, then you must take at least 15 to 18 credits per semester. How do you decide what is right for you? First, what exactly is a credit? One credit consists of about one hour of class time per week. However, most classes are three hours long. A student who is taking a three hour course can expect to be in class about three hours per week. Courses with a lab, like in sciences and accounting, may have additional time requirements. For every hour in class, a student should set aside about two hours for preparation and study. You must complete prerequisites courses before taking any classes. Course prerequisites are listed in the course descriptions in the college catalog. A prerequisite is a course that must be completed before taking another class during enrolling. Because registration happens online, the system will not allow you to enroll in class if you have not met the prerequisite requirements. The next consideration to embrace your success as a first semester student is to enroll in an SDV 100 or SDV 108 class. These courses provide valuable information about college services and resources at Pauly Camp Community College, as well as tips, techniques, and tools to help improve the effectiveness of your study habits in a collegiate environment. One of these courses should be taken the first semester, if possible, or within the first 15 credits of the college classes. Another idea is to consider whether web-based or hybrid classes are a good fit for you. Both are convenient options for students who need flexibility in their schedules. To be successful as an online student, you must be motivated, organized, and have access to high-speed internet. It is the student's responsibility to stay on schedule and complete coursework in a timely manner. If you seem to have missed some important points in class or you can't seem to grasp what the instructor is saying, then you should consider these three options. Number one, remember to always talk to your professor who is there for you. Number two, never sit in the back row of the class. And number three, visit the student learning lab or request a tutor. These services are offered free of charge to you, but don't wait until you are too far behind to request them. For tutoring, students have until mid-semester to request a tutor. After you choose your classes, the next step is to obtain your textbooks. Through the Barnes & Noble bookstore at the college, students have access to new, used, and electronic textbooks. Students have until the end of the first four weeks of classes to return a book or get a refund. For a textbook refund, students must have their cash register receipt, no markings on the book, and if sealed with shrink wrap at purchase, must still be in shrink wrap. Early bird registration gives currently enrolled students a chance to register for classes before everyone else so you can have the best chance to get the classes that you need and when you need them. Students are encouraged to enroll early, but don't forget to pay by the payment of tuition deadline or your classes will be dropped. For the first 7 to 10 days of classes, you can make class adjustments by adding or dropping classes. After then, if you need to discontinue a class, you may withdraw until the past mid-semester. You can drop and withdraw from classes online, over the phone, or in person with the help of an admissions assistant or a counselor. If you drop a class, it disappears off your student record and you get a refund for the class. If you withdraw from a class, you don't get a refund and a W grade is assigned. If you are receiving financial aid, it is recommended that you check with the financial aid representative about how dropping or withdrawing from class might affect your financial aid award. Holidays are also posted in the college calendar with a notation, college closed or college open. If the college is open during the holiday, 
then you have access to the building including the computer labs and the learning resource center. But classes don't meet during holidays. Students go through a defined process to enroll in classes and they also need to go through a process to discontinue class enrollment. Students need to understand the difference between two important academic terms, dropping class and withdrawing from class. Students may drop classes within seven to 10 days from the beginning of classes. If you drop a class, then you get a tuition refund and it disappears from your college record. After that period of time, you can withdraw from classes until just past mid-semester and receive a W grade. For classes that are withdrawn, no tuition refund is given. The class shows on your student record with a W grade. And if you receive financial aid, withdrawing may affect your award amount. So check with the financial aid office before doing anything. Students who stop going to class without going through this often end up with F grades, so don't let that happen to you. Talking with your teacher or counselor can sometimes help you figure out a way to successfully complete your course.